Hello friends, I'm Prabhat Sharma. Today we'll take a look at uh, how to get started with, started with Zing. Uh, Zing is a full text search engine and uh, the first thing that you want to do is uh, head over to the GitHub repo, which is essentially github.com Prabhat Sharma Zing. Uh, so on, on the readme, you have a couple of things that explains what Zing is, how Zing works, why Zing, some of the features and some of the things that I would like to go ahead and build in the future. And then some screenshots that shows exactly on uh, what it'll look like uh, when it starts running. Okay. And then we have a getting started section. Let's go ahead and uh, follow this. There are a couple of ways that you can actually get started with Zing. You can actually download the binaries or you can use Docker. If you have a Kubernetes cluster, you can install it in the Kubernetes cluster as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and use the binaries method in this particular uh, video. So head over to the releases page and uh, go ahead and download the appropriate binary for your uh, platform. I'm currently running in uh, a Mac, a Mac M1. So for Mac, I'm going to be picking up Darwin. And this is M1, uh, it's ARM64, it's a silicon chip, Apple Silicon. So I'm going to pick up this one, ARM64. If you have uh, some other platform, just uh, make sure that you're picking up the right platform. Okay, so let's go to the downloads. And so here we go. Uh, we have a binary and a license in the readme. Let's go and uh, let's go there. What we have 17 MB is in file binary and the rest of the small, smaller files. Uh, what do we do next? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, close this tab. Getting started, binaries was downloaded. Create a data folder, okay? MKDIR data, so let's do that and then uh, run this. Uh, what we're doing here is that uh, we're setting up an environment variable called first admin user and then first admin password and then executing the binary essentially that is all so let's run this so mac essentially has a security feature which whenever you have uh, binaries downloaded from internet it doesn't let you run them straight away so it'll stop it uh it won't let it run what will go is that we'll go to security uh, settings and security and whenever this happens, it essentially shows you which file was blocked from use and then you allow anyway. Uh, depending on uh, your platform, your, uh, your operating system, this may or may not happen, but we'll go ahead and run this again. And can't be opened because Apple can, cannot check it for malicious software. Say open it. So now you're able to run it just like that. So you're up and running. Uh, now let's head over to localhost 4080 then and now what is our password complex of hash one two three sign in okay complex as hash one two three okay we are in copy paste extra characters coming in so this is the ui uh, there are no indexes that we can search for let's see this is where you can select uh, the time frame and whenever you have index in searching for data here's a syntax a small syntax guide that you can use so let's go ahead and uh, load some sample data uh, and you can have there are a couple of ways you can actually uh, add sample data you have a, you, can ha you can add a single record using curl or python you can also uh, add uh, bulk data and we'll just take a look at this particular example okay so okay so, uh, cd uh, let's Okay, so we have uh, uh, this particular file, olympics.ndjsn.zip. 
let's uh, unzip it okay and we get uh, an NDSN file. so what is an NDSN file add Olympics uh, essentially for every record there are you'll see that there are two records one is kind of a header and the uh, immediately proceed uh, after that you'll see the actual data and uh, that is essentially what it is for every record uh, you'll find two records that is essentially a new land delimited json so let's go ahead and uh, load this okay so we'll take a couple of seconds and it's done so that i think uh, more than thirty thousand records in this uh let's go to the string console so it doesn't really auto uh, uh, refresh the index list but if you go to index management now it'll start showing and which are the fields uh, once you go back you'll be able to see it in the drop down and so these are the fields out over here and you'll be able to search so essentially it's a uh, olympics data for many many years so you search for um, gold medal so you're able to get this pretty fast you can expand one of these see uh what data do you have here and you're if you're looking to uh, look for specific columns you can select those columns and uh, yeah that's out over there you can search for anything let's, let's take a look at some samples you can search for gold you can search for city of paris okay so for city paris you can search for specific columns you can say where city is not Paris, which is simply minus. Okay. So any uh, records with uh, whatever city, city is not Paris, or city is Paris. Okay. So, or uh, there are a couple of other options available, uh, but take a look, look at it. That is all for now. Thank you, folks.